My life is in. My life is in God's hand. We made it, we made it through hard trials. Through hard trials, we made it, we made it. Drink tea. 
tears for a while Sometimes late awake at the midnight hour We Lord, look at you and I We're we able to stand here and testify Could nobody do it but God He kept us and he covered us and he kept his arms around us Through dangers seen and unseen Nobody but Jesus did And we're able to stand here and test us all the night Memphis just for a few minutes. Can I stay in Memphis? Uh, uh, for a few more minutes. I got a nephew that lives down in Memphis. His name is Leland Thompson. Mr. Thompson, will you come out here right quick and just play for us just a little bit? While he playing, thank God for something he gonna do next week. Come on. But some of these new songs, you got to get a thesaurus and a dictionary and a Bible study guide and three weeks of prayer. You pull out that old John P. Key, you know what you're going to get. I got, I, I got some old songs. See, when I'm in Chicago, let me tell you why I love Chicago so much. 
two minutes. Number one, before I got saved, I was a part-time pharmacist in this area. I used to catch a flight in on Fridays, and I can't tell the whole story to the to the book come out and to at least two more people die. But I was working for two preachers, well three, a bishop down in, 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 in Virginia area and I was bringing shipments into Chicago on Friday. I would meet up, hold up, I don't need no noise when I'm testifying, who did that? That cost you about $300. And I would come to Chicago, watch this, go to Miller's Pub. Meet my connect, handle my business. Watch this, watch this, watch this. And then I would cry. You remember when Donald Alfred's daddy church was at the school? I would go over there and sit in the back and just weep because I knew I was outside the will of God. But I'd make that money before I cry. And I would weep and cry and then fly back. My cousin Benny used to take me to the airport. Y'all know Benny, I won't call his last name because I don't want to put nobody out there. But God saved me on the street corner of Charlotte, North Carolina. And I never forgot where I came from. Chris, I tell you, we hit the street. I got 64 active street ministries. Yeah, we go get them, I go get them. Thank you, Jesus. And I pastor where I poisoned. I sold drugs at a green store across the street and I never left the neighborhood. I bought all the land. Now that land I bought for 15 and 20 and 35 thousand dollars is worth how much Jeanette? 22 million. 22 million dollars. Don't let these old sweatsuits fool you. I wear these in case the IRS is in here. And if they in here, if they in here tonight, these just jokes, these church jokes. Yeah, these church jokes. But God's been good to me. Real good. That's why we sing songs like this. Uh, statistics, that's a big word in North Carolina. Statistics say, at least 15 of y'all remember this one. I'll give you the honor. I'll give you the praise. Ever and ever, ever and ever, I lift up your name. I got another one from back there about 34 years ago. This one says, stop telling people your business. And when you go through, learn how to pray and talk to God at home. Statistics say about 50, y'all remember this one. Whatever your problem is, wave it away. You're too young to know this right here. Whatever your struggle is, then John P. Key would come in and say, Give it to Jesus.
got another one. Now, this is a good one right here. There was a word that got out in the DMV. That's D.C., Maryland, and Virginia. Yeah, they say I didn't write this one, but this is a dusty song because I'm born in Durham, North Carolina. Mm, outside the county, we dusted down there. We didn't know nothing about toys and TVs. We played outside. So I tell everybody, say, where your song, songs come from? I say, the dust. So he didn't say it, but they did. Who is they? I tell it. I don't take a salary as a pastor, so I don't have a filter. I just tell the truth. It was Morgan. The man, man used to play bass for me, Morgan Turner. He said it, but he was in the conversation. My dad would say, if you're in the conversation, even if you don't talk, if you sat there and you ain't raise your hand, you dirty too. It's quiet in here. Some of y'all said something. Hey, they said Richard Smallwood wrote this one. Now, Richard didn't say it. They, them days is something else. But I told him, no, this ain't a light skin song. This a dusty song. <clears throat> I ain't going to tell that joke no more. This is the last time. Watch how many people know this song. This, this is John P. Key for real, right? Come. In the house, come in the house, Lord Jesus, you are Jesus, you are welcome. Oh, yeah. Come in the house, let your glory fill. Let your glory fill the house. Yeah. Glory fill the house, Lord Jesus, you are welcome. Jesus, you are. Church. He's in the house. He's in the house. He's in the house. He's in the house. Oh my God. He's in the house. Y'all say it with us. Don't let nobody tell you how to worship. Nobody. Don't tell them your song. Don't let them tell you your songs are outdated. I started singing a song doing sound check yesterday in Chicago. We almost had a real Baptist fit. I didn't even know. I was playing with them little musicians back there because I said, y'all don't even know this. Too young. If about 12 of y'all know it, I'm, I'm going to sing a little bit of it. How many remember this song? Father alone will know all about it. You're too young to know this. Father alone will understand why. Cheer my brother, oh God. Live in the sunshine. Somebody help me say this. With understanding, girl. Uh, oh, by and by. It was there by faith. I received my son. Now I am happy. Oh, the day. This is a good one. This is a good one right here. Now, if you don't start it by saying, oh, 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 you ain't got my grandmama Holy Ghost. Everybody here say, oh, oh, oh. Say it again. Oh, oh, oh. glory, glory to his name, precious name, glory to his name. 
Now, 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 what a fitting song for the weekend. I was a grown man before I understood the significance of these next lyric, these lyrics. There to my heart was the blood of thy singing glory to him, him name. God of mine This next song I'm going to take you back I don't know if you live on the south side I don't know where you live But this next song going to take you to the country Every one of you Tighten your hair up, cause I seen a lady shake one week and her hair come slap off. It's it's a it's a shaker. Can I get a fake uh, old church? That ain't loud enough. Turn that up in my monitors, whatever that was. Hit it again. That still ain't loud enough. Turn it up in my monitor, whatever that is. That is, sound man. I love you right now. Stop playing with them, Chris. Take them right now. Chicago, y'all better stop. Y'all better stop singing like that. Girl, I'm hanging down the roof of Now reach up and get you something. Now reach up and get you something. By faith, I believe it, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I believe. There's a little found it to be bright. Somebody scream in here right now. Put your hands on
got me some 1990s Chicago Fest folk up in here. Chris, there's a lady back there still clapping like that. Where my old John P. Key fans at? Let's show them how we did it 30 years ago. If you stop clapping, girl, you're going to push me. Don't push me. Don't push me, girl. I know the other part. 25 years ago, we would have done this. F sharp, hit it. Uh. Calvin Rogers would be on the drum. Tony Russell would be on the bass. And we would rock this right here with you did it. You did it. You did it. Church 
Say, start clapping your hands right now. Say, it's coming to me. It's coming to me. Coming to me. Coming to me. I want everybody on your road to know you expect something. It's coming to me. Coming to me. Break it down for me. That ain't no breakdown. James Brown would fire the whole band. Breakdown mean everything. Break it down for me again. Leland, I got about nine people that didn't clap. And I know why. They citified. They was waiting on something country to make them clap. Come here, Leland. I need you to play me at old school Mississippi guitar line and it'll make all of us clap. Are you ready, Leland? Here we go. Play it for me. One, two, three. Uh. Sing this thing. My blessing, my blessing. Think about what you need this week and say it with me. Say, my blessing, my blessing. My blessing, my blessing. I want to add something. I want y'all to say this thing. Help me say that. My blessing, my blessing's on the way. My blessing, my blessing's on the way. Yeah. My blessing, my blessing's on the way. Come back here. Come back, church boy. My blessing, my blessing's on the way. I need the church people to stand up. Just the church people. My blessing, my blessing's on the way. 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 Yeah. Wave your hand if you do. Oh, 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 oh. 
Sit down, sit down in here. Sit on down. Boy, good God Almighty. I'm going to call you this week, and when you ain't busy, you can roll with Uncle John anywhere in the world. Yes, you can. Matter of fact, if you got your clothes, we you, we just Come on. you you don't look like you eat no more than I do. We eat together. We just and we gonna eat now. We, I lost quite a few the pounds over the flesh, but I still get me a little dinner. This is harvest month, so it's somewhat like a fast. You cut out certain things, and man. Today I had to show up pray during lunchtime. Cause the saints, you know, they don't care nothing about you when you're going there. Bring all kind of food in your face. That's why I got prayer warriors that pray for me when I have my harvest month. This one young lady, I'm not gonna tell you which one it is. You can guess. Cause I tell people, some of us, you know, when we grew up, we ate special meals. You can tell we ate good. And this one young lady is behind me, one of them, she say, she said she had never seen or heard of Burger King. Right, that's the, the way y'all looked at me just now, that's how I looked at her. I said, no Burger King, she said, no. I said, never even seen it on TV. She said, I don't watch cable. You mean, you, you old as you is, you ain't never seen a Burger King? I'm not calling her a lie, cause you don't call people a lie these days. Since she said mighty, I'm going to tell you who it was. It was her. That one, right? That time I, no, no. So I took her to a Burger King. And I normally don't go in the restaurants no more. No, nah, I never, ever. I went in that day. And I bought her a Whopper. And watched her eat it. And in my spirit, I wanted to know, has she ever had one before? And when she took the first bite and did this, I knew. But she says she ain't never been to Burger King. I'm gonna have to take her at her word. <laughs> Baby, she been to Burger King. This next song, maybe she hasn't, didn't she? This next song, this song, <laughs> Tally said Ann Arby's. <laughs> Chicago, you're special for another reason. Some of my early workshop days, be it with Reverend Cleveland or Edwin Hawkins was here. And one of the greatest songwriters of our time, uh, he's got a sister named Queenie. When I tell you Mr. Lennox is one of the greatest writers of our time. Amen, amen. Amen. And his wife goes to my church. I take good care of her because he looked out for me. I want y'all to really know something. In this life, there are going to be trials and challenges. And to have my family here tonight smiling and worshiping and praising, that means more to me than anything you can imagine. This next song, I want to minister to them. I got a real special song for y'all. Get ready. It ain't this one, but I'm going to throw this one in. This song speaks to everybody in here that has had challenges that you didn't tell anybody about. I'm not Pastor Key right now, I'm Uncle John. I minister every Tuesday and some Thursdays to 17 millionaires, men. We're called men of means. And I minister to them because they got a whole lot of money and no joy. Somebody said, well, suppose they see this and they'll cancel you. I ain't begged them for me to come on there. I'm trying to help them, and it's a fact. Just frustrated with money. I'm not going to be frustrated with the blessings of God. If God see fit to bless me, 
I'm going to be like her mama. I'm going to give him glory and pray and thank him. When everybody else stops, I'm still going to have my hands up. That's how good God has been to us. Wrote the song for Tasha Cobbs Leonard, Stole It Back. We started singing it on the road. I enjoyed it the way we sound. I said, I'm going to take it back. Here comes the pandemic. Nobody's working. I called Tasha. We got together and we did it together. It's not out yet. It won't come out until maybe the end of December or mid-December. But it's a good song to encourage you. I'm not going to do the whole song. I'm going to do just a little bit of it. We ain't been out so long, I forgot what key I sung it in. Here we go, I'm gonna try this one. Even if your heart is breaking, give me that reverb like y'all give Justin Bieber. Been forsaken, God is waiting for you. Even if you're falling in sin, you will win God is waiting for you for you for you for you I really like what you done for me I can't Really explain it, I'm so into you. I really like all the great things you've done for me, Jesus. I can't explain it, I'm so in.
Prince might be here. Bridget. Bridget Campbell in here. Where's she at? Come here. Come here. Turn me back. Let's be back together. I need your peace. I need your love. I need 
for 38 years. Yeah, she's been the manager. People don't know it, she's one of the greatest music engineers in the country. Um, um, she is everything, she, she do it all. Let me tell you, she run the studio. Um, um, she's the godmother of my children. They wouldn't be who they are without her. I got mad at her today and I told John John, I said, can we trade your godmother in? He said, never. She's the best, she's the best. Amen. So we were parked on one side and Pastor, who knows Jeanette very well, they went out front and he was like, well, if you can get the bus in and slide it down. So she was like, oh, I can get in there. So they thought they had to move this big piece of equipment. She was like, I can get in there. So she got behind the wheel. The bus driver that brought us here, pray for him, he needed some sleep. When I tell y'all we ran off the road today, we thought it was it. She said mighty again. Every time she say mighty, I think about this commercial. Now it's little boys going, mighty burger, burger king. Y'all don't remember that? I'm by myself on this. Say mighty again, it just keeps me tickled. We were deciding who was going to do the tour. She was coming up last, but I looked at her name and I said, burger king, got to go. <laughs> Jeanette said, I can pull the bus in there. The bus driver said, I can't. He went on to the hotel. This is funny to me. So Jeanette started pulling the bus in the front of the school. There was a tree blocking, so the tree did touch the top of the bus. And there's a lady in here that said the funniest thing I have heard in 12 years. She said, hold up, you're gonna knock the tree over. <laughs> I wanna bless her financially right now. That's how much she tickled me. I said, man, we might tear the bus up. That tree been there at least 60 years. Stop, we're gonna have to get, people get so nervous sometimes. Oh, CMS, they're gonna have to, we're gonna have to, they'll be mad. I said, so I screamed out the bus, I said, baby, I can buy a tree. I'm gonna check my account tomorrow. I'll put trees all over this school in the name of you. Where's she at, is she in here? Where the lady say we're gonna knock it, there she is. I love you so much. Ooh, I wanna meet you at the concert. Please, I wanna meet you, shake your hand. Hold up, y'all gonna knock the tree over. I just stopped. Uh, I'm a comedian part time, so that, put that down. You can use that right there. I love her. 
Amen. <laughs> I did a project on Ranch Island. I'm getting ready to go. I'm getting ready. Y'all take a deep breath because when we start, we ain't going to stop till we rock this place. <laughs> I did a project on um, Bishop Ranch. I also did a movie about my father. I uh, actually, some of you were there. I actually, um, we filmed some of the movie in Chicago. Was anybody in the audience that night? We did it over at, where did we do it? We did it at <laughs> Fellowship. Yeah, we did. And it was packed in there, and we did the 1970 scene of James Cleveland's. Uh, well, the movie is about my father, but there's a tour with James Cleveland, Mahalia Jackson, the Dixie Hummingbirds, and somebody else. The Caravans. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we've got, it's a great movie. We're going to finish. We've got five more scenes. My first time in the director's chair. I love it. Uh, what did I have bringing to the table? Nothing. But I was the guy that would sit in a movie and criticize it. I could see everything. The mic's in the corner. Everything. So I'm really excited about it. Um, the movie is about my daddy in 1947 who gets a record deal on the way to New York. The a choir with white robes on shot the tires. Uh, okay, the Ku Klux Klan shot the tires. <laughs> shot the back tires out of their. <laughs> shot the back tires out of their bus. All of this has already been uh, shot. We shot all this footage. We are 95% done. Uh, we shot everywhere from New Orleans to Chicago uh, to California, where San, Jose. San Jose. We shot everywhere. So we're excited about the movie. My son, John John, first time in the acting seat, uh, plays my father from 14 to 35. Throw your hand up. John P. Key to 30 did an excellent job. An uh, excellent job. Excellent job. And Bishop Rance Allen plays my father from 35 to 1981. Isn't that good? And he finished all of his scenes before he passed. And uh, I want to dedicate 30 seconds to him tonight. He did a song when I was a little boy. Y'all all are too young to probably remember this song. But he did a song that said, I belong to you. Help me sing, somebody. I belong to you. on there, Gene Moore, Zaccardi Cortez, uh, Dietrich Haddon, Fred Hammond, and I did Miracle Worker. Everybody on there. Charlie, everybody's on there. Yeah, you get ready. Um, Calante's single came out last Friday. Um, so yeah, everybody's on the project. Uh, let's remember him. He was a great man of God. Amen? All right, here we go. Band, y'all ready? Can I get a fake little intro part? Yeah, that's good right there. That's good right there. Now, tell you about this song. Late 80s, early 90s, a songwriter called me from New York. He said, write that song. I said, I will. I wrote the song. I called him from J. Howard Studio, South Boulevard, Charlotte. I called New York, and I, when you have cell phones in, I let him hear it on the phone. He said, yeah, that's good. He said, John, do me a favor. Can you navigate it? I'd never heard that phrase before. <laughs> navigate it meant for me to go in and sing lead on it so he would know how the song moves. So I went back in the studio very same night, sang the lead. I called him back, but when I got to the sixth number, I said, can I hear it again? And when I heard it again, I took it back. <laughs> I knew that song wasn't going to New York. He was mad at me. Called me a couple of years later. He said, okay, since you didn't give me your song, will you sing a duet with me on my record? I said, yeah, I'll do it. Send me the track. He sent me the track. It was a Thursday night. I just got through finish. I just finished um, producing Eric Matthews. He said, I need it by tomorrow. I said, 
Bishop, I ain't going to be able to do it by tomorrow. I said, I don't have no voice. And guess what he said? He said, what you never tell a black man from Carolina, you don't ever say to him, I knew you couldn't do it in the first place. He said, I knew it was too high for you. Baby, I got some aspirin and some, and some, and some, and some hot water. And this the highest song I ever sang in my life. Look, matter of fact, I'm going to sing a little bit of his song that I did with him first. And then I'm going to go back and sing the song I stole from him. And say, this song I did. And whenever I finish singing it, write the name of it down so you can Google it when you get in the car. It's the highest I ever sang. I'll never sing that high again. That's why I'm going to hire you. I ain't singing that high no more. Uh, it went like this. Sit down, one more break. This is the last break. Breathe, sit down. I'm getting ready to sing the song I stole from him. I wrote it for him and I stole it from him. Pray for me, Pastor Kim. He's forgiven me. <laughs> Y'all ready? I'm about to rock this place. I ain't playing either. I love you, Chicago. I love you with my heart. Hit it!
tonight everybody with a story just wave your hand mm. can, I, can I get the house lights off oh, is it hard can y'all cut them off anybody know what a light switch is if not don't worry about it uh. hey. Hey. those were real testimonies I need you to do me a favor. All over the building, sing this. Say, you don't know my story. You don't know my story. Somebody help me, please. Hey, Pastor Kim, you gone? You gone? Uh, uh I need three minutes. I need three minutes. You don't know my story. You don't know. Stop it right here on the one. So I came to Chicago tonight, of course, for my brother, my son. I love him so much. I love that he is not fear. He's not, he don't fear nothing. He just, he don't fear nothing, which allows him to, to preach under the oil. I'm getting ready to go. But tonight I really came to this city to love on these two great people. I did. And I wrote a song for you two 34 years ago. I'm getting ready to sing it right now. I know that Deja loved John P. Key's music. And there are going to be some sad days, but I want both of you to know. And I can't wait to meet the rest of the kids, the other six. What we're going to do from now that Jesus comes is we're going to celebrate her. We're not going to let that be the story. Amen in here? Band, don't y'all mess this song up. I dedicate it to you. Walk up and see now. It's me. It's me, oh Lord. I'm standing in the need. singing now. Parents, come join me. Y'all come join me. Get on the stage. I want both of y'all over here with me. Come on over here with me. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Pastor Chris, get somebody to take some steals because I want to share this with the world today. Because I want all those two, three million folk that follow me to be in prayer for this family. Y'all come on around here. Tell Uncle John, get over here on me. I want us to start clapping our hands in advance right now for what God's going to do with this family. Hey, thank you, Lord. I'm starting from the beginning again. Hey, listen. It is me. It's me, oh Lord, I'm standing on
Break it down, band. Pastor Kim, before we turn it over to Pastor Chris, I want you to go to the throne for this family, for us, for Traveling Grace Home, and everybody with a need in this house. Those that are watching, those that are watching this stream, listen to me. Wherever you are right now, start making some noise like God just did what you asked him to do. Oh my God. Hey, thank you, Lord. Listen, as I've told this family and this, these parents that touch me and draw strength, I want y'all to point in their direction and just say, God, do it right now. Again, start clapping in advance like it's already done. Pastor Kim is yours. Yeah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this family. And Lord, we ask that you will allow them to receive the work of the Holy Spirit that comes to comfort in times of loss. Lord, comfort their hearts tonight in the name of Jesus. Lord, wrap your loving arms around them and let them know that you care and that you love them. Strengthen them, Lord. Give them power even now. Lord, wipe the tears from their eyes. And Lord, be their hope, be their strength tonight. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you that you are able. You're able to touch. You're able to raise them up. You're a strong deliverer. Oh, God, there's nothing you can't do. And so we lift up their hearts before you. And every person under the sound of my voice that is going through a trial, going through a circumstance that's out of their hands, Lord, you're able to do it. So we ask that you will move now in the name of Jesus because God, you're sovereign. God, you're holy. You're the ancient of days. You're august and mighty. You're able to do exceeding and abundantly above all that we can ask or think. And so God, in Jesus' name, break every yoke, every shackle, every assignment of the enemy. We break it in the name of Jesus and we loose the power of God the love of God. We come this far by faith, leaning on you, God, trusting in your holy word because you never failed us. Strengthen the family now and every person that's going through in Jesus' name. Yeah. We give your name glory, honor, and praise and say that it is so. Healing, comfort in Jesus' name be applied to their hearts and souls. In Jesus' name, amen. Now everybody said, it is me. Chris is going to come and thank you and love on you for coming and we're going to rock this building with our new anthem I promise you. Look at somebody and say I made it out. Say I might not even look like it. Say but I made it out. I'm speaking it in advance. Wait. I'm excited. If y'all listen if y'all enjoy my pops John P. Key make some noise up in the air. Let me tell you, thank you for coming. It has been amazing. Please listen, don't forget Sunday, Easter Sunday, we're going to be up in here and we're opening bank accounts for every youth and child, 16 all the way down. Those that are in church on Sunday, 10 o'clock, one service. One more time, on your feet, everybody. Give it up for Pastor John P. Key. Here it is. Uh, uh, uh. Clap, yo. I wish I could hear him even on the last song. Sing 
it with me, please. I'm
pastor. Raise your hand. Every pastor. Thank you for coming. Raise your hand, pastors. They passing out envelopes. If you had a good time, Father, cover us, keep us, protect us. In Jesus' name, amen. Good night. See you Sunday.